All right, welcome back to the channel. My name is Matthias Lösche and I'm the co-founder of E&M Consulting and we generate a constant stream of qualified leads for coaches and consultants. And this video is gonna be about um, how to increase the lead quality of your Facebook ads. So I know for most coaches and consultants who are already running some Facebook and Instagram ads, this is a huge problem, right? And this is probably one of the most Mm, significant problems you have in your advertising campaigns because ultimately um, you need to close these leads then on a, to, on a consultation session right and if the lead quality is not right you're gonna have a hard time um, making your advertising campaigns profitable so this is definitely a video for those of you who are already running some Facebook and Instagram ads um, but I really want, want to go deeper now into this why certain uh, why you're probably experiencing a certain lead quality in your advertising campaigns yeah and why this is such a mystery for most coaches and consultants out there well maybe even let's say not only for coaches and consultants in general everyone who's generating leads on Facebook and Instagram will probably experience this um, to a certain degree let's say and I really want to give you now different approaches that you can take um, in the ads manager um, also in your general approach in the funnel and in the, in the psychology you need to apply in your advertising campaigns in order to increase this quality then um, to ultimately make your campaign profitable, right? Um, exactly, because you really need to see, um, you need to attract your, so to speak, your ideal client, let's say more or less your ideal client, right? Because you need to get someone onto a consultation session that you are used to sell to, right? Maybe you're not the perfect salesman, you're not the ideal sales guy, if you will. Um, then, of course, you need more or less somehow an ideal client on your call um, yeah, to get him as a client, right? All right, so I want to give you now these different approaches. So make sure you stay till the end. And I'm pretty sure there will be something very interesting for you. Maybe you're doing one of those mistakes that I will mention here now or um, even multiple. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure there will be a solution for you. So the first thing I really want to touch on is um, the idea of performance marketing, right? Because especially if you go now onto YouTube, right? You go onto YouTube and you Google how to increase the... the no, you're not Googling it, you're searching it in your YouTube search function, right? And you're searching for how to increase the lead quality now of my Facebook ads. And then all these gurus come up, these advertisers, and they tell you different things. And um, I definitely want to say here, you have to take this with a grain of salt because most of those business coaches, advertisers or whatsoever, um, they're not specialized in helping coaching consulting businesses, right? So they don't fully understand your situation and maybe they don't even can, they, they can't relate to your situation, right? They don't know how it feels. If you're getting leads on a call over and over again and everyone, literally everyone tells you, oh, sorry, I can't afford your services, I'm somehow broke. Um, or I'm working in a grocery store or stuff like this, you know? And it's really frustrating because you're spending a lot of money onto Facebook ads and you're generating those leads and people are interested in your services, but there's no way in um, onboarding them as a client or getting them as a client at the end of the day because they simply can't afford a high ticket coaching. Um, so anyways, take this with a grain of salt, but the point I wanna make here is the term performance marketing, right? Most people or most advertisers, they will tell you, look, you gotta test, you gotta split test those different target audiences on Facebook. And then you see, make different targetings based upon interests or based upon their professions, based upon industries or whatsoever. And then split test those and take the audience with the lowest lead price. And of course, it makes sense, right? Of course, I wanna have leads for the best price. But I can tell you, it's not always the case that leads with the best pricing are those quality leads you're looking for, right? Um, so a really good indicator for this, in my opinion, is the CPM. Really, really nerdy term here. Um, I really wanna only briefly touch on this, yeah? CPM, cost per milli, cost per thousand impressions, right? This is a metric you find in your ads manager, but I don't wanna go too deep into this. I don't wanna make a technical video here out of this. But the CPM is a very good metric for this, yeah? If it's higher above $30, then you're on the right, in the right area. If you're below $30, maybe even, let's say, below $20, $25, then you know something's off with your audience. You're probably targeting an, targeting an audience with low buying power, yeah? 
Um, and then of course in the ads manager you have different, multiple different options there, how to target people based upon interests. And I already mentioned this, right? Um, but the thing here is you got to understand that of course the targeting is very broad, even though you might be thinking, I'm, I'm only targeting CEO, CEOs, ha, ha, of course they must have the buying power, but not always. It's not always the case that this information is accurate that Facebook gives you there, right? Um, for instance, it might be that there are some 20 year old children starting out their online business and they call themselves CEOs and then they land in this audience and you're targeting these folks then with your Facebook ads and you're wondering why they can't afford your service. So this might be a reason for instance. So what you have to do in this instance, check the CPM, test it, but then don't split test the audience in terms of you have multiple audiences running and you see which one is the, the one with the lowest click prices. No, you have to test them separately. Yeah, let's say you test for testing for seven days, one audience, one interest, for instance. Yeah, and then you see what is the quality it's coming in. Afterwards, you check another interest and you see what's the quality then. And you can't, you can't test both the same time. Obviously, obviously not, because you can't distinguish between who's coming from which kind of targeting at the end of the day. Yeah, so that's really uh, important. And please, as I mentioned, the advice from most gurus out there, take this with a grain of salt, split testing the audiences. Yes, but not the same time. Yeah, one audience after the other. Have a look at the CPM. Observe this over, let's say, five to seven days and see what happens. Yeah, and then maybe switch to another targeting option. All right, second thing. How to increase the, the lead quality is the psychology you're using. Is it on your ad creatives? Is it on your funnel? Look, at the end of the day, who clicks on your ad? Someone who resonates with this. Yeah? And different people resonate with different things. We know this. This is nothing new for you, of course. The thing here is, if you're looking for people of affluence, they resonate with a very professional behavior. If you say you're the dating coach for entrepreneurs or you're the fitness coach for entrepreneurs, then you better look like a professional fitness or dating coach that, yeah, that looks like an entrepreneur somehow. I don't mean by that you have to wear a jacket and, you know, the tie and stuff. No, no, I don't mean that. But you have to look somehow affluent as well. Yeah, you have to establish your premium positioning in this market. Um, in order to attract an affluent or affluent audience. So I hope this is clear, right? And also then what is the, the advertising copy? Are you calling out your audience? This is for professionals. This is for entrepreneurs or maybe not. Yeah. Are you too broad in your positioning here in your advertising campaigns? Same applies to your funnel. What is the image, image psychology on your funnel? Yeah. What kind of character type you want to attract there? Yeah. What is the text? What is the font? You know, the, the color, all this stuff is very important when it comes to attracting the right kind of people because if your page looks cheap and scammy, yeah, guess what? You won't attract the right kind of people. I hope this makes sense. Next thing, the relevancy of your ads. And this is something very technically, I only want to briefly touch on this. How relevant is your advertising campaign for the specific audience you're advertising to. Yeah? At the end of the day, you want to have a higher relevancy. This has multiple reasons why that this is, has to do with the Facebook algorithm because yeah, Facebook wants to keep his visitors on Facebook and, when it, and Facebook is only then able to keep his visitors there if they're happy and when are they happy if they see great ads, for instance, if they see ads that don't look great or for whatever reason they don't like it, then they're unhappy and they leave Facebook. Facebook doesn't like it, so your relevancy is low. Huh. So <laughs> actually not too complicated, but I really want to don't, don't go in too much detail here. Um, exactly your relevancy. So you have to make sure that your reputation on Facebook is good. We have multiple strategies how to do this. This is not that simple. Yeah, For, for instance, you can increase reputation with the right kind of engagement ad campaigns. Um, if you're suffering from having a bad reputation, um, there are also different metrics than in the ads manager how to see if your ads are not that relevant for your audience. So this might be a problem. Um, I see it here and then definitely for some coaches out there, it's definitely a problem. I see it over and over again. Yeah, but it's not that simple to fix. Um, 
but I just want to give you here this, this impression of, okay, it could also has to do with the reputation and the relevancy, but I really don't want to touch too much here on this. I want, don't want to go in too much detail because this would become infinitely technically and super complicated how the Facebook algorithms and stuff works, right? Don't want to do this. But if you say, okay, look, um, thank you for those suggestions here, recommendations. Um, sounds good, but somehow I don't really know how to do this. I'm not an advertiser myself. Look, I'm, I'm caring about my clients. I have to do the work for my clients. I don't have time to care about the Facebook advertising campaigns. And honestly, I don't really want to do it. <laughs> Though we had clients who literally said that to us. Um, then, of course, feel free to head over to our website www.em-consulting.net there you can sign up for a free marketing review with us and then we have a closer look onto your advertising campaigns and then we can tell you exactly okay either by looking into the ads merge and saying look here something's off or by seeing your advertising campaigns or funnel um, yeah then we can tell you what's probably off why it's not working or why the lead quality is relatively low in your case and then of course if you want we can help you fixing this um, if you don't want us to do this, that's also perfectly fine. So no worries. But anyways, sign up for this marketing review. It's very valuable. I hear it many, many times that people say, yeah, definitely worth it to check it out. Um, it's completely for free. You can sign up on our website and then we take a closer look onto your campaigns. And till then, see you on this call or see you on the next video. Till then, bye-bye.